Today we're on the Feather River uh, trolling for some stripers. We're also going to be doing a few other methods. We'll be throwing some swim baits, possibly jigging. But uh, we got to locate them first. So we fish a lot of the sandbars, the drop-offs in the sandbars. That's where those stripers typically like to hold. So right now we're just trying to locate them. Today we're going to start off using the shallow running Yozuri. Um, notice it's got the small bill on there. We don't want it to dive uh, too deep into the bottom. We're going to be fishing water that's mostly anywhere from six to eight feet deep. So these dive the perfect depth. If we wanted to go a little bit deeper, we'd use the deep divers. But uh, this right here has really good action for what uh, the stripers like. They like the rattles and they like uh, you know, the movement of this lure. So when they hit it, they hit it really hard. They hit it uh, like a freight train going the opposite direction. So uh, it's just basically uh, let it out and hold on. But uh, probably the most important thing to do with uh, one of these lures, almost any lure that you use, is make sure they're tuned. And what I mean by tuned is running correctly, side to side evenly. If it's running to the left or to the right uh, more than another direction, what happens is your lure doesn't get to the bottom. And if your lure doesn't get to the bottom, you don't have a chance of catching a fish. Because what it does is if it runs to the left too much or runs to the right too much, it actually flips up to, towards the top. And uh, these fish, we need them, uh, you know, we catch them on the bottom. So we need this lure on the bottom. So right now what I'm going to do is I'm going to check it when I get going to the trolling speed to make sure it's running right. And if you look here at the lure, you can actually see it moving here in the water. Here we go. If you can see that lure moving side to side at a good speed here. You can see it moving right there. It's running good, it's staying down. So what I'm gonna do right now is I'm gonna let this lure out. We're in five feet of water, so I'm gonna let it out about 85 feet right now to start with. I've got a line counter on here that tells me where we're at. It's counting out right now at 85 minutes. I got my thumb on the spool so it doesn't backlash. Going to 85 and lock it. Rod tip's vibrating good. Just what we want to see right now. You see that rod tip working just like that. And we'll see uh, if there's any stripers around. So I'm going to put that in there. What I'm going to do is I'm going to test this one. That one's running really good too. I'm just going to put this one in the rod holder, just like that. Fish on, all right. All right, we just found our first striper here. We've only been in the water for about a minute. It's not a big fish, but it's our first one of the morning. Good start. You can tell it's a baby, it's not taking out much line, but uh, I'll show you what they look like here in just a second. And there it is. Right, so uh, I'm just gonna. Yeah, so uh, right now this fish is just a little small. He's uh, under 18 inches, so we're gonna have to throw him back. But notice he grabbed the back hook here. Gotta be real careful that you don't get a hook in you. Pull it out just like that, and it's a nice looking, healthy striper. A little small though, we're gonna throw him back, let him get a little bigger. And there he goes. Notice. Uh, he took our worm, so we're going to add another worm tail onto here. 
Everything else looks good, the hooks are good. So we're gonna put it back out in the water and see if we can't get another one. So right now, uh, we were just trolling downstream, trying to cover a lot of water, trying to find the you know, school of fish. You know, this is not a large fish by any means, but uh, you know, where there's one stripe, there's usually more. So we're gonna turn around here in a minute and go through again and see if I can't uh, locate a few more stripers. This is a little baby. We're gonna let this guy grow up and uh, get a little bigger so we can catch him in uh, the years to come. Another thing is you gotta be real careful when you go to grab this lure. You see how they like to shake? I have taken many hooks out of many hands from people uh, getting too anxious and just grabbing it. Just like that, you check all your stuff and ready to go again. So I'm gonna turn around here in just a second. We're gonna go back through this and see if there's not a few more fish right there. Our speed's really important too, uh, how fast we're going. I use uh, GPS here to watch my speed, but we also are dealing with current. You know, sometimes we deal with tides, sometimes we deal with current. Right now, there's no tides where we're at, but there's current. So we're actually going against it right now, so we gotta watch, you know, that. We gotta factor that into how fast we're trolling. So typically with the current we have, we're going anywhere from about 2.8 to about 3.5 miles an hour. Um, when we're going downstream, I try to always stay under five miles an hour. Typically those stripers don't like it over five, but uh, there are a few instances where they will hit it a little faster than that. Fish on. He's charging the boat here. And here we go, here's another, another striper. A little undersized, but a good start for the morning here. We're gonna go for another one, so I'm just gonna release him real quick, just like that. Just to make sure this is all looking good. This in the water again, and I'm gonna tune it. It's running good. So this green one has two so far, this one doesn't have any, so I'm going to check the tuning on this one again and make sure uh, it's running properly. That feels like a little bit better fish there. Getting a little bit more of a tug here. Still don't think he's uh, the size we're looking for yet. Probably a keeper. <clears throat> So we caught him in about six feet of water. He's coming over. Bring him back over here. Oh yeah, he's a definitely a keeper. There's a nice keeper right there. Nice healthy looking fish. I'm gonna grab my pliers and I'm gonna throw them back in.
stripers, they actually come in from the ocean and in the delta. That's where they uh, live most of their life. And then they come up the rivers to spawn. Um, typically what they do when they spawn is uh, they'll come up into either the feather, the sack, occasionally the American. But uh, depending on the flows, uh, you know, one year we'll have uh, better fishing on the feather, another year better fishing on the sack. And uh, they just come up, they'll do their spawning. They spawn up on top. A lot of people think uh, when they see them spawning, you know, they're up on the top of the water. They think you can catch them with top water, but it's really tough when they start spawning. But before they start spawning, um, you can catch them on a little bit of top water. But most of it's all deep down, down towards the bottom. There's some right there. Some more. See them right there? You can see them on the green screen and the white screen. Now the situation where we're in is uh, some of these fish were in a little bit deeper water than our lure could get to. So we're going to change lures right now. We're going to go to one that dives a little bit deeper. It's got a little bit bigger bill on it. And uh, it's kind of an intermediate diver. And we're going to see if we can't get those fish. So what I'm going to do right now again is I'm going to tune it, make sure it's running right. And uh, we're going to go back down, troll back down, and see if we can't get those fish that I uh, was marking on the screen. Fish on! Okay, we got another small one. Not what we're looking for yet, guys, but uh, they will come. We're on another sandbar here. It was just starting to come up uh, when this guy hit. He smacked it. Little guy. Doesn't matter if they're uh, a pound and a half or 25 pounds, they all hit the same. They hit like freight trains going the opposite direction. They hit really good. They want to kill this thing, and they sure try. Yeah, he took it down good. This is a good area right here, guys. I expect uh, to catch one in here. We got a nice little sandbar that's uh, gonna come up real quick and it'll hold a lot of fish in here at times. And with the water dropping like it did uh, overnight, I got a feeling there's gonna be a few oh, fish. Just like I said, I got a feeling there's gonna be a few fish in here. Another schoolie. We want to catch one today that uh, can eat one of these schoolies. He might be another keeper though. We'll find out. Yeah, so the regulations for stripers is uh, they've got to be over 18 inches and we can keep two a day. And uh, typically I like to have everybody throw anything that's over 10 pounds back because typically anything over 10 pounds, uh, they're usually female. And we need those uh, females to lay their eggs and uh, produce more now that we don't have fishing game uh, helping us out anymore with raising uh, stripers. We need to be throwing those big females back. And that's a nice these are perfect eating size anyway, these 19, 20 inch fish. And there it is, right there. What are we using again? We're using a Yozuri. 
five and a quarter inch shallow runner. Look at that, nice little fish. There we go. Feather River Striper. They're working good. Still I'm working. Something's gonna pop here in a second. And there's a couple right there. There they are, right there. I'm sitting right at the top of this. If you watch a finder, it's gonna come fish on. There they were, and there they are. Fish on. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Oh, double, double. There they are. Ooh, both two good fish on, guys. That one's a good one, too. You can just tell I was taking. All right. See, they were sitting right at the top of this bar. If you look, ooh, yeah, this is taking some good line here. You can actually see the bottom here. If you look out down right there, you can see the bottom. Come up right there, see the bottom? See how shallow it is right there? Look at the bottom, you can see it right here. Wow. We're right on the bar. And that's where these fish are at. So they're sitting right on the edge of the they're bar. They're sitting right on the drop of the bar. Look at my fish finder here, we're in two feet of water. And we're fishing down into seven feet, six, seven feet where those fish were holding. So you really don't have to go very deep then. No, you just gotta be close to the bottom. Oh, this looks like a nice one. Yeah, look at that. I'm gonna get this one, and this one's a little bigger. This one's a decent sized fish here. Right. Double hitter, guys. That beautiful trolling Feather River. Now, Bob, these guys made their way all the way from uh, the ocean. Ocean in the Delta, yes. They came all the way in. They're gonna do their spawning. Gonna do their spawning, and then they uh, will go back down. You know, there'll be a few resident fish that stay in, but uh, most of them will. Turn around and go back to spawn another year. Very nice, very nice. nice. Okay.